Looks like it's getting worse to start with, doesn't it? They've uh, just revised the, the, uh, uh, the, the yearly growth down. Well, the Netherlands economy is still contracting, which uh, at first sight looks like a surprise because the Netherlands is always considered to be part of the core of the Eurozone and uh, its neighbor Germany just reported uh, quite significant growth, 0.7% quarter on quarter. So something is indeed going wrong in the Netherlands. In many ways, the Netherlands remind me of Ireland a couple of years ago. Uh, it's an economy which is small and open, which had a bit of a housing bubble, less bad than in Ireland, but significant still. Households have too much debt, they have to delever. So there's a lot of pressure on domestic demand, but like Ireland, they should actually find it easy to get out of this. All right, well, we'll, we'll come to that in a second, but uh, to, your, to your housing bubble point, um, a, this is a, a statistic I just read, a quarter of Dutch households in negative equity. I mean, that seems astonishing uh, uh, to me, that number. Um, how can they get that down? How can they get that number down? Well, by saving, I guess, uh, they have to uh, put aside a larger part of their income to repay debt. Uh, Dutch households are among or maybe even the highest indebted in the Eurozone. So it's all about saving at the moment, which means less consumption, which means less co domestic demand, which is the major reason why the Netherlands are currently in recession. Mm. Um, OK, back to this, this uh, comparison with Ireland. Um, your, your point is the, the, the domestic adjustment that needs to happen in the Netherlands can be done in a less painful way than it can in Ireland, is that right? Or, or can in the periphery? Indeed, Ireland has found it much easier than countries like Portugal or Greece to get through the adjustment of the euro crisis. Why? Because uh, more than 100% of its GDP is in exports and of course a huge imports offsetting uh, that mostly. But External demand plays a much bigger role for these small open economies like Ireland, like the Netherlands, than for countries such as Greece or Portugal, which are only ex exporting maybe 30% of, uh, of their GDP. So countries like Ireland or the Netherlands can offset a harsh domestic uh, adjustment by uh, growing external demand. Now, in the case of Ireland, most of that demand came from the US or the UK. In the case of the Netherlands, most of it is coming from Germany.